What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have a Conor McGregor no HUD challenge It's basically where I take Conor McGregor into fights without HUD completely and try and win and dominate fights This is a funny story because I was doing this video in preparation for Ed Parker before our Showtime fight the day before And I don't I done a lot of fights and it kind of just turned into a showcase. I was actually quite happy with how he was uh, you know, you was a McGregor, so I was like, fuck, I'm gonna actually turn this into a video, like, like, it's actually not bad performances in it, like, I was like, and I was winning these fights back to back to back, so I was like, fuck it, like, why not, yeah, let's see what happens, and I'm really happy with my, my Conor McGregor, um, overall improvement on how to use him, as you guys can see here, we are absolutely lighting up this Khabib, and guys, this isn't gonna be like a, oh, a breakdown of like 50 fights, uh, or anything like that, this is just simply like, fun commentary, just taking the piss basically having a bit of crack your man here as you can see he was he was getting the head bait, baited up and so he decided to be a dusty bitch and shoot but you know got those skills get back on the feet and he makes a mistake there he made he made a lot of mistakes they everyone made a lot of mistakes you fucking know he made mistakes but like you know i've never seen a Khabib player this aggressive like he was thrown everything and i was like ah, do you know what he hasn't got more power than me yet he's legacy could be but like jesus christ that's they made the wrestle like and I was just throwing silly things just to take the mick. But you're going to see as the fights go on. The level of kind of like shots that I throw and combinations. That's a beautiful combination. I love that combination. And there's the combination, you know. Mix it up. Jab straight body and then jab straight lead hook. You know, they think you're going to the body. They block low again. They think it's the same combination coming. And then this could be just started zombie mode. I mean, he just started walking forward. And he started having fun. Throwing capoeira kicks. Wanted to throw flowing knee. Caught him with the lean back uppercut into the late hook. And that body kick. I was just having fun at this stage. I knew the fight was mine. You know, the fights can change. But when a Khabib is doing this and just moving forward, I knew I was going to be able to take shots in the chain, take shots in the block. And I was actually... I was breaking his block. And he was moving forward. So I was like, okay, if he... And I kind of realized, hmm, if he starts moving into me power... I'm going to finish this fight. And that's exactly what he did. God bless his little heart. He does. He moves into the power. And gee, this is a rough one. Like, wait to see this. Like, bink. <laughs> that's one and done. One and done for Khabib there. Yeah, the little. And that straight was in the pocket as well. So that's a good thing to know. And here we are now. Getting into the second fight. And uh, that first one was quite clean. You know, he was a very aggressive Khabib. And, you know, it is what it is. He'll learn from that. But, uh, yeah, I think we go with McGregor versus McGregor. And this was one that was good fun. I enjoyed this one. I'm in the white shorts. He's in the green shorts. I think. Yeah. That's my open combo. Yeah. White shorts. Green shorts. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, this was fun as well. Like. I always like when I get a mirror match. Because I. I got to experience what it was going to be like. Fighting Ed Parker. Uh, th this lad. Not so much. He was not playing the way Ed Parker would play. He was fucking. Throwing everything. Like. Look at that. That's ridiculous. And just missed that straight. That was going to be a clean straight. And I. I was kind of thinking, if I just kind of step into range, this lad's going to go fucking nuts. And then I'm going to slip back. And I'm going to um, catch him with something. So you guys can see it there. I'm already doing it. I'm already stepping backward. And I couldn't cut time it there. I was too afraid. I was too far into the pocket. So my idea in this fight was to hit him a little bit. And then get him to react. And when he reacts, then go for it. So he's catching me a little bit now because I'm, I'm looking for his funny stuff. But I kind of started taking it a bit more serious. I was like, you know what? If I want to get reactions out of him, I need to at least hurt him. So I started really trying to pour on the pressure here. And for every knee he would throw, I was throwing one back. That's my rule now. Someone knees me, I'm kneeing them back. If someone knees me twice, I'm kneeing them twice back. If someone knee elbows me, I'm fucking knee elbowing as well. And here's the taunts. I was trying to taunt him to um, get him to throw something. Because he was being a lot more aggressive. And I, there it is. There it is. And for some fucking reason the hook didn't land. Which I still don't understand how that hook didn't land. But yeah. Here we are now. The little step back. The rock. The body kicking. And this is what my game plan was going to be against Ed Parker. Was this. Get him to come to me. Hold my center. And then just have my way. And, and really use McGregor to. The, the McGregor that fought Eddie Alvarez. Went for the faint body into the late head, uh, into the, the head kick, didn't work out. But he's hit the canvas twice now, I think. And uh, he goes for a spinning wheel kick, is obviously not a good idea. Jab, uh, straight. And then the jab rocks him, and then there's the body combo. Puts him down. I should really be finishing these fights from there, but. Uh, does he. 
Is this the guy that disconnects? I actually don't think this is the guy that disconnects. I think there is a couple disconnects in here. And as you guys can see, I'm going to let him out here. And then... It's coming up. I know it's coming up because I remember the fight. But where the fuck does it come... Oh, wait, here it is. Yep. Yeah. And boom. The step back jab. The step back strike. Excuse me. And now here we go. Another fight. Another victim. <laughs> no, I'm joking. These are good fights. A uh, little bit, you know... Some of them were very predictable. I don't know what makes people freak out. Maybe it's the badges. I, th I honestly don't know. Maybe people just see the badges and, you know, whatever. But we had a Tony Ferguson. When I see a Tony Ferguson, I'm expecting a lot of elbows. A lot of knees. And if the fight hits the ground, obviously submissions. So I knew for this one, I really wanted to get in close. And I just wanted to box the head up and not give him any shot. And I knew my shots were going to land in the pocket better. And there you go, straight away. Look, he's rocked. And I land that beautiful jab, straight hook into the stripe. Just completely take the block down. Put pressure on him. You have to put pressure on a Tony. If you allow Tony to walk you down, no matter who you're using, and have the range and have the space behind him, you know, it's not a good time. So my idea was... There you go. Here's the takedown attempt. Does not get it. Beautiful roll through. Block the body because I've got enough experience now to know when a body shot is coming after a takedown attempt. Stamina is low. Why not go to the body? I keep in mind because this is without hood. And he starts being really dusty here. You know, he really <laughs> wants that takedown. And, the, you know, the beautiful step back into the straight lead body kick. I'm very good at takedown defense. Uh, it's something that I kind of pride myself on. It's very difficult to get me down. You can only really get me down if the ping is shit. And even at that, I'm still rolling out with your attempts from late, from late denials. And there's the beautiful feint to the body into the lid. And there it is again. Falls for it twice. You don't really get people falling for it twice. But this man was shooting his jocks. They were getting smacked out of that body. And decided, you know what? I'll have to go over it again. But yeah. And we're doing well now. The fights are going my way. Uh, as I said, guys. These fights are uh, actually one, one. Like, right one after the other. There's no break in between these niggas for a tag down. I got a pre denial on it because he's a dusty bitch. Um, and a beautiful step off three piece. I tried to go for the pull there, couldn't get it. And he starts throwing a lot of jabs straight. So I realized, I was like, hmm, okay, maybe slipping off would be handy for me. But, yeah, these fights are all one after the other. So I was really staying on point and staying warm and staying whatever I could, you know. But this is really confusing here. That, that fucked me up. Because, because of that little weird animation shaky thing I got really confused at what was going on and then he takes me down and tries to get back up but it, it, it's obviously it's, it's not going to work out for him at all like he, he literally lands nothing like he throws nothing I was kind of realising going I don't think he's really good on the ground I was like I can actually maybe take him down if I wanted but I didn't want to it's him kind of McGregor showcase now I could have wrestled like, do you know what I mean but I didn't have any I didn't, I didn't want to <laughs> so like yeah but there you go, he comes into range and gets caught again, and I, I let him off the hook. And my, my idea is to let people off the hook, and I went... It didn't work, but I really wanted it to work. He went for the uh, the front kick, and I was going to dip out of so I didn't come over with the elbow. It's, it's, a, it's a shot that I'm trying to work on. And I said, ah, fuck it, look, I'll take him down. And I actually don't think I even wrestled for that long. I think... Does he get up by the way? I think I actually let him up. He, he might actually get stuck down here. Oh, no, the round ends, yeah. That's what it is, yeah. I was happy just... I actually posture her up here, yeah. Yeah, the round ends, and then he's um he he can't even like do anything at this point. Like he could have threw up his submission from the bottom. Probably would have fucking got like not got it, but he probably would have got the animation to get into it because I was only I wasn't even holding R2. I was focusing on and that I that I fucking love that shot. I love that shot. And to the people that say. Oh, you, you don't need skill to play Conor McGregor. Yeah, well, you should have seen my fucking Conor McGregor two months ago. Fuck, I was missing everything and gassing. And now I'm just landing and getting more familiar with the animations, the speed of punches, animations in the pocket on the standstill. And uh, this was all in prep for Ed Parker. So although I wasn't getting any fucking fake glove touches me there, uh, and then I think I was just pissed off at that point. I was like, Do you know what? You fake glove touch me. I was being nice. Fuck you. Here you can go to sleep now. So, yeah, he starts throwing this kick. And I was like, why don't I just sidestep it? I was like, yeah, but I could just let him keep throwing it. It's funny. And then just do that. <laughs> he was getting way too close with it. He wasn't throwing out of range. He was trying to fucking get, like, 
into me fucking breathing range the weird I was to keep me like well, I was like nah I'm not having that like and there you go pal sit back down again and I just got kind of not bored but I like, felt like you know the, the three jumping teeps was a bit fucking much so I was like as I said you know if they spam I'm gonna spam back but I didn't really want to but the little step back straight and then uh, yeah this this is about to be over this one as well guys so uh, enjoy this KO because I know I fucking surely did <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the knee, I missed the knee. Yeah, yeah, this is it, is it? Yeah, this is the one I think. It's right somewhere here. I think I remember this. Yeah, the elbow. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Fuck them for those three jumping tapes. And, uh, yeah. This one's good fun. This one's a fun fight. Uh, Charles Oliveira was the first time I was coming up against the champ. Uh, obviously a, a wrestler I was kind of thinking okay he'll try and take me down because I'm Connor and it'll be a good fight I might get a long fight out of it which was my whole thing I wanted a long fight but uh, yeah he, it was just, it was funny like I can't really go into depth about this fight on account of you're gonna really see why in about two seconds but uh, it was just one of those things it was like oh oh you're not playing Charles how Charles should be played and as you guys can see there he drops me and this is where I was thinking I was like what the fuck am I doing this chap is literally throwing jab straight so I was like no I can't be having that like and I caught him with the head kick on the way down and then here it is very very quickly coming up he just stays in range and I was like do you know what if I just keep landing shots I will KO him and this is this is beautiful I was chuffed with this the double head kick I put that boy out cold. He did the right thing. He dropped me, but like he was getting real predictable with his jab straights, and that's all he was fucking throwing. Like, so here's another Charles Oliveira looking to get revenge for the other Charles Oliveira. They're just fucking everywhere there. But uh, yeah, let's see how this fight goes. This is a this is a good fight as well. They're all good fights, you know. They're all good fights. A little bit of respect there, you know. Boom, throw it up, throw up the respect, and then let's see what the story is. Open up with the jab, spin and back kick, get that range, get McGregor. I want my range behind me, get Oliver. It's one of the first times I actually used a calf kick with McGregor. And uh, I wanted to get that animation. Because, you know, if you can get that animation, you can really just get him to fall into a straight or a lead hook. But as you guys can see there, straight away, he runs into an absolute piston and gets sit down. Um, yeah, you can see now he's definitely behind the eight ball. And that, that fuck, I swear to God, that beautiful lunging hook is beautiful on McGregor. His arms get so long and it loops around any other shot. It's a good shot. I used that me and paragraph we I did. But um yeah, and there's the knee. Drops him down. The head kick, the faint body to the head. And uh he at this point I wouldn't be happy. He gets kneed again. It's so hard that you know and the fuck oh, Jesus Christ, that was the perfect. The perfect distance. I was just tall, that was all tall, wasn't even fucking foot, it was just tall. And now we get another legacy, Khabib. So the fights are going fast. You guys can see why I was getting excited. And I didn't want to take the commentary too seriously. Because, you know, you take commentary too seriously. It gets a little bit, you know, people think you're some sort of fucking scientist. And you're having a bit of crack and whatever. But, like, you know, just to make it fun. Like, it's fun. Like, the game is fun if you're winning. It's shit if you're losing. But, yeah. It's hard to break down these fights when I'm kind of doing the same thing. All I can really tell you is my game plan from the get-go, which was to keep the center, push the pace, and then move back out of range and crack it straight and fucking like that, like crack a body kick as well, and you get the right see stuff like this. This is what I want to do. This is what I wanted to do against Ed. Now when I had like you know because it wasn't Ed, obviously I was fucking a lot more confident because it wasn't Ed. But just because it's not Ed doesn't mean you can't have confidence going into that certain fight with that person when you've really helped yourself out and really taken the time to study and, and learn and learn the, the character you're going to be using I couldn't use Conor McGregor first time going and fight Ed Parker in the last a couple of rounds you know would have fucking knocked me out in two seconds and it would have been dead embarrassing like but yeah so we were just getting in some good fights and <clears throat> excuse me and I was really having fun and I got caught with a head kick there because I was having too much fun. I was like, hmm, okay. He's caught me. I'll give him a taunt. <laughs> then I'll run across the cage so you can see me coming. And it wouldn't be too much, you know. It's not bad if you taunt and you're halfway across the cage. And then he taunts and you focus there sprinting over to me. He's catching you with a head kick again. And then he started being real like, 
Dusty like grabbing me and just you know tried too many head kicks got caught with my head kick and then this is the ending the lead hook gives me that animation where he fucking shivers down and just goes absolutely limp it was a beautiful 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 combo to end the fight the, the beautiful head kick off his head kick Whoa, perfect next fight what are we looking at? A fucking other Legacy Khabib. Do people fucking just love Legacy Khabibs? I don't even remember this many Khabibs when I done this video. Well, he's not even moving. Why am I hitting him? Oh, there we go. Okay, he's back. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, so I lean into that head kick. That's the one thing I will notice, I will say. In that last fight and in this fight, even, I, I, I lean into head kicks. And I'm trying to. That's a lot of jab straights, bro. Head kick again. I really need to learn how to keep my block up and take shots on the block and not necessarily just sway which is something I did against Ed I didn't sway too much I swayed once or twice and I think he might have caught me shots on the block but I was happy with the blocking that I was keeping and my defense up to a certain point and there's the the lead hook there that rocks the Khabib the legacy Khabib go for the spinning heel kick nothing to it get out of the way of his head kick because I know it's coming off on the break there it is again, and as you guys can see, as I can see it coming, I slip right out of range. I'm getting the timing on that now. So it kind of gets easier as the fight goes for me. The, the, the step back straight catches his overhand because you know, guys, straight punches will always catch hooks. And then he goes to the kick again. And at this stage, I was kind of like, Do I, yeah, it was just, it was getting a bit obvious to read when that, what, he, what I feel he thought was his best shot was that head kick. And then he throws it again. And it was getting a little bit difficult for me to read it at this stage. You see. Because now I'm trying to just step back. Because every time I think a fucking head kick is coming. It's not. And I step back. Caught him in a combo. Sat him down. Now I'm really trying to get my step backs in order like that. I step back three times. I, fuck, I knew. I swear to you. I knew the head kick was coming. And I step back. Punch. He goes down. Same thing there. Step back. Boom. Ends the fight. Our first Dustin party. I think this is. I think this is our first Dustin. And yeah, this fight is um Yeah, this fight was not good from what I can remember. Uh on his behalf. Like he just I I don't know if he had the game for play for free, what it was. I don't know if he had some he did have some sort of like, you know, combination to it, but Jesus Christ, Connor is a fucking beast. <laughs> 26 seconds to end the Dustin party fight via body tickle. Moving on to another dusty bitch, Khabib Nurmagomedov. And I believe this one's a little bit longer. I think this one actually gets out of the first round and into the second. Can't really remember. It's been a few days since I recorded it. I think I recorded it two or three days ago. It was actually meant to come out the other night. And I couldn't do it because I, I was actually made the point last night. I couldn't do it because I was fighting Ed last night. And then it was just too late after work. And then trying to get home and do everything. And I was just like, ah, fuck it, I'll just do the fight. And there's a beautiful me that sits down to be in the Magomedov. The confidence I was having. Look at that. Would just stop the jab straight lead, lead hook to the body. At this point, I was on point. You know, I, I felt really good going into this fight. And then I was like, okay. I just had a masterful performance against Dustin, and this Khabib is literally missing and just walking onto shots. And I missed my own head kick there, but that would be the last time you fucking see that, I think. I mean, that comes out again. Not only when I miss a shot once or twice, I don't tend to throw it again. But yeah, I was just having a lot of fun in this one. And he started kind of hitting me a tiny bit, you know, he started kind of really pushing the pace. I, just, I need people to push because Ed is going to push. So when he was pushing, I was chuffed. It was just some of the fucking shot selections that he was throwing wasn't good. But yeah. Oh wait, no, this doesn't make it into the this, this second round actually. What am I saying? It's a head kick KO, yeah. <laughs> and here, here, oh here, a calf. Oh shit, I remember the calf. Oh, I remember this lad. Because he was so distinctive with the long hair. I think he had loads of tattoos and blonde hair. I think I remember this. It's just that, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the lad. This lad was alright. He wasn't too bad. He just came up against a fucking brick wall. And, uh, you know, when you fight players, you kind of see certain things that, like, they could do better. There you go. Look, see, I'm susceptible to the head kick and to the overhand. But the one thing you can't do 
is when you're playing a McGregor, the best advice I can kind of give to people is land your shots and get the fuck out of range. Don't, don't, you don't need to follow him 24-7. Reset yourself. Don't throw kicks in the pocket because that's a fucking death wish. For some reason my combinations weren't landing there and he wasn't setting up the overhand either. You know, sometimes you can set up your overhand with a jab overhand. You can set up with a, uh, uh, a calf kick. If you set up your calf kick while you're moving to the outside, you'll get the animation on the outside where they kind of stumble over and then throw the fucking overhand. Now, don't just throw the overhand in pocket range. Like, you're asking to be countered with an uppercut. Like, anyway, here we go. I'm tickling that body nice and well, and I'm getting, I'm getting the jab straight, body hook off every fight, every hook I'm getting it off, and there you go, the dip, because I knew it was coming, and then I, I'm gonna say this, I tried to throw the body uppercut, but for some reason it went into the like that, but it was going to be an uppercut. But it went into a takedown for some reason. Maybe I held it too long. I gave him a little taunt. He says, hey, what's up? Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Spin a wheel kick. No good. Go for the body again. Because I can see he's blocking high now because of the rock. Yeah, that, that head kick will get these calf players in trouble. It'll get anybody in trouble against Connor. If you're not... Stop throwing head kicks... When the two competitors are in the center of the cage, there's just way too much room to move, to back out, to duck, to slip. Just stop throwing head kicks when we're in the center. Beautiful jab straight, beautiful jab to the body, and then I went for the cap aware, the spin kick, no good, he was just out of range. I say, come on, come on, come on, so I have a feeling he's gonna try the head kick. I wanted to punch him so bad there. <laughs> I couldn't do it though, it wouldn't be nice, wouldn't be fair. So, I've kind of realised that when I'm in range with a lot of people, uh, sometimes my shots aren't landing, and I really want my shots to land. So, I have to move out of range a little bit in order to get the full extension on the punches. So, look, this isn't fucking... This isn't new news. Everybody knows this, you know? And no, I'm not just copping on now, but I was just really trying to take a boxing approach to Connor, And just really, I wanted to see what I could do with my boxing. And my boxing was working well, but you have to mix in the kicks as well, you know? But the, the boxing was more so the point of what I was trying to do here. Uh, kind of later on in this fight and as you guys can see there the teep works well he misses his shot i come back in with the knee rocks his body i'm trying to get someone to fucking block low and i wanted to i don't know if he if mcgregor has this here and the lovely body rock but i try to throw the the lead head kick out of range so i can step in with the spin and wheel kick and i try it a few times i try to the lead kick to miss and then the spin and wheel kick to land to into range so I don't know if McGregor has it or if you just can't do it on 30 frames per second. But yeah, this will be the first fight video that goes to the second round. And it's a calf of all things that survived till the second round. A fucking calf. Couldn't even get three rounds out of a legacy Khabib or a legacy party. The party fight was over. Like, like what? 26 seconds? That was strange, that was. But yeah, he taunts and... I gave him a little hand behind the back. You know, ah, fuck it, let him taunt. He's the only bastard that made it into the second round, so... Well, no, yeah, as I said, guys, all these fights were in prep for Ed. I had my game plan. I had everything I wanted to do. And I, I actually let him hit me here. I, well, I'm not even going to lie. I, I actually put down the controller for a second. I was like, okay, do something. But, uh, yeah. I started trying to do those strikes. And, oh, damn. I was just thinking, though. I didn't do those against Ed. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, well. I'll make up for it with an epic... KO of this calf as you guys will see coming up soon but uh, yeah uh, I think he was kind of frozen here I'd imagine he'd be frozen as well like if fuck oh, Jesus Christ Connor so strong the body rock the spin and wheel kick that I still cannot get for some reason you won't block your body when your body's low he still did I, I, I'm gonna tell you guys real quick Um, I was getting a bit frustrated with the taunting so I was like, you know what, this lad thinks he's surviving, and I'm fucking letting him survive, so I'm not going to let him survive. That's the end of it now. I said, next time I heard him, he's going down, and that was a beautiful lead up. to the body, into the hook. Now, uh, I, learned, I learned that from someone uh, that doesn't play anymore. So, rage quit. Beautiful rage quit. And I think... Is it? No, it's not. This is the second last fight. Second last fight of the episode. And, and these two are quite... Uh, short fights. The fucking head kick again. 
It's it's every time a head kick. Oh no, it does the Poirier. Okay, I didn't know I got two. Let's see how long he lasts. Um, yeah, okay. Cool, yeah. Sure. What the fuck? Look at all the feints. Oh, that's beautiful. Dustin's just stepping in the range. It's only really when you watch these fights back, you realise who's actually stepping in the range and who's not. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Telling you now, my distance with this McGregor is getting so much better. I'm going to be dangerous in a month or two. Once I figure everything out, I am going to be dangerous in a month or two with McGregor. Yeah. Just out of range. Nothing there. Not doing that. And I tried. I tried that kick again. I wanted to see if I could time that that kick. I don't know if you can do it on 30 frames per second, or even if McGregor has it. Maybe McGregor doesn't even have it. But uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section. Does McGregor have that kick? Because for some reason I really wanted to land it for a real highlight, real KO. And for some reason I couldn't get it. Do nice step back there, then jab to the body. Sweet chin music me in the face. Eat that shit like a champ. That's a champ's dinner. Goes for the overhand and the spear, and I, I meant that one. I meant that spear tight down, but then I wanted to let him move just to let him know. Hey, will you block log so I can land this wheel kick? And it's a little no to me and all. Like, <laughs> uh, he was a good skin, he was. He was a bit of crack, he was good crack, but he fucking I tell you after that, taunt the guys. Hey, when people taunt me when I'm winning the fight, I fucking hate it. it. Does me head in, so I just had to knock him out there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I hate when people taunt me when I'm winning. It's like, well, what is the point of taunting me? You've done literally nothing this whole fight, like, but yet you taunt me. I felt disrespected. You know what I mean? You know, Connor, you don't fucking take disrespect well, so don't, don't do it to yourself. But yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, no, what the fuck is, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it was a. It was a good fight for as long as it lasted. I'm really holding back in some of these fights, and I swear to God, I am. I'm just look. I'm fucking jabbing them. Like, I'm, I've literally just all I've done was jab, 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 jab. I was trying to get him to slip. He would not slip. And I think the fight is ending soon. Yes, it is because I remember the part where oh yeah, the transition. <laughs> Bing. Beautiful. Punch him in the back of the head. Yeah. Why not? Right, guys, final fight, a Khabib fight, very quickly, before I go into anything else, I'm just going to give a couple of shout-outs to the people who stuck by me and helped me grow and, 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 and helped me learn when I when I got into esports, so, it's it's not a long list, there's only a group of OGs that will, that will, that will be on this list, um, first of all, the video, this video is dedicated to Reese, Reese, uh, is... I, I think he's Conor McGregor's number one fan you know so uh, I, was, I was very saddened when he disappeared from the esports scene I'd like to see him back but yeah this is is dedicated to Reese, and my Ed Parker fight is dedicated to Reese as well so there's that uh, Reese, uh, very good sparring partner of mine uh, I'd love to see him back into the cage and come back to esports uh, Storm Lo love Storm me and Storm had our, our really bad battles back in the day. Like we fuck, we hate each other. Like, but Storm, Storm's a good lad. You know, Storm is a good lad. He is a good skin. Uh, AJ Bads, absolutely killing it. Repping TMM right now. He's got a really big fight coming up in prime time co-main event. I'd love to see him pull through that. I'm definitely pulling for that one. I am. And then Jimmy as well. Jimmy's been a, a, a Jimmy's our little Jimmy. Do you know what I mean? Jimmy's just. Fuck, what can you say? If you don't know Jimmy, you, you should get to know Jimmy because he fucking make your day better, he will, just by trolling you. And, uh, uh, Grizz. Grizz, very, very, very good friend of mine, Grizz. Uh, he's a very good lad. All the respect in the world, all the love in the world to him. I got to know him, and he's a, he's a lovely person, so. Yeah, what else? Who else is there? Uh, I'm just looking at this. I'm lighting this Khabib up. Uh, there's, uh, Heavy, Ace. Jaquees, uh, Jay Reed, uh, people that have let me beat them in league fights in the past. Uh, fuck the people that haven't let me beat them in league fights in the past. Um, oh my god, I forgot, I got it. Holy shit, did you see that? I got it, I forgot I got that kick. Guys, listen, if you enjoyed the video, thank you very much. I love you. Subscribe, comment, uh, 
uh, smack the notification bell and guys if you did enjoy this video uh, just, yeah, I can't tell you what it means if you just smash that like button and thank you to everyone that supported me I cannot believe I landed that fucking kick <laughs> up there yeah boy oh yeah right guys but thank you so much for sitting through this whole video of me absolutely chatting shit have a great day have a great weekend enjoy the fights over the weekend if you're on the esports scene enjoy whatever esports you are into and join if you want to guys it's a great experience goodbye guys I'll have a great weekend and guys just a quick shout out to Got them as Ashes and Purple Oracle. They've been with me since day one. Been some of my best sparring partners. And they're rising through the ranks as well. So keep an eye on them boys. Yeah, don't sleep on them boys. Listen guys, thank you and have a great weekend. I appreciate you watching the video.